Hi there folks, another one of my reviews. Um, this is a Hornby train, however it's a little bit different from all the others. For one, this track is O-Gauge. It's tin, it's old, and it runs this. There's an old Hornby, it actually says it inside, it's Meccano Hornby, type 20. Made in England by Meccano Ltd. Um, this was made sometime after 1948. Um, the reason I can tell that is from the locomotive is the number 60985. That's after national, national nationalisation. The emblem on the tender is the early British Rail. This is a two wheel tender. Um, I don't get much on the wheels because you can't tell much. I do still have the key. Ta da! Um, and she does still work. Um, a few things to note. There's a lever inside. Just about there. And that moves the lever, moves this coil. Which allows it in to move. As the lever is pulled forward, catch it a little bit. The idea is there's a bit of track here. Let's twist it like that. That little plate pulls up. And as the train flies along, it tugs on that, which causes that lever to fly back. Which, when this is wound up, because it is clockwork, uh, and it's loco drive, uh, when it's wound up, the coil uh, that unravels gets caught on, there's a bit of that in there, and it should, in theory, stop the, the engine. Um, I don't really know how well it does that. Um, anyway, the number is 60985. Now, I'm not sure if that is a, or was ever a legitimate locomotive. But um, the 6-0 um, would say to me that this was an LNER locomotive. So, uh, that's that. As to the Type 20, I've done a bit of research, uh, as much as I can, because whenever you type in Type 20 or Hornby or Clockwork, it comes up with some, well, mainly eBay, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and I was doing it on my phone. Um, but I do believe this one, a tender with it, yeah, it's another another little feature of this one. The uh, tender coupling moves. It's the only one that does. All the others don't. I mean, that one's fixed. As you can see just there. Um, so this is with a tender. Um, I believe it comes with coaches. However, I was given this by my aunt in on, on Christmas. This just a year just gone. So I've had it almost a year. Um, and it's something that I used to play with when I was a little boy. Now, that may not seem like it's any information at all, but for this to be in this good condition, after I've played with it, is quite impressive. Um, I mean, I really used to batter things, and uh, for this to survive is quite impressive. But, um, unfortunately, uh, I don't have any coaches for it. I do have this. Lovely bright coloured wagon, tipper wagon. It's quite interesting. And let's see, so you can see the mechanism at the end, or how it works. This is slides over to that one, and then slides over to that one. And get stuck. So, see that on the rails, and, yeah. and what is still my favourite uh, rolling stock, not really rolling stock, truck for it, is this. It looks like a truck, it holds, it's got a hole in the bottom, so, so does that one, so does the tender. Um, and again, this one's got yeah, just a hook around the eye. Nice little simple. 
Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else I can say about that, really. So, let's spin you around because you're going to be the wrong way. Let's put this on. I'll put this on. Now, it's going to be quite interesting trying to wind this and recording without the locomotive spinning its wheels. Although, there we go, as I said, this lever, when it's pushed in, this lever stops the wheels from rolling, in theory. Just wind her up. come back here, if I hold on to the engine and pull the lever away, then she should, and there she goes. You don't get too much, um, but you get enough. I must be honest, I never used to, never ever used to um, do it up. And unfortunately, it is quite dark in here. Um, so, let's see if I can turn the flash D. There we go, that might help. Okay, now you get a bit more colour. Right, let's see if I can get it to stop. Shush now. Let's see if I can wind her up again. You got the nice Brunswick livery, um, which was British Rail, and it did favour locos like Flying Scotsman, for instance, Green Arrow. I should do. Let's see back on the track. Okay. The way you go. Bit unrealistic speed, but I mean, that's probably better. You see the little the uh, the rod only connected the rear wheel. I'll give it a bit of a push, you might. I have to put it around. I mean, it's only going to be a short review, um, mainly because I haven't done anything for a while. Uh, I've almost run out of locos to do for the moment. Um, but this is one I've been looking at a lot for, to do for a while. I say she's a nice tin model. Um, you can see the reversing lever just here, or painted on, obviously. Um, the early British Rail emblem and the trucks. I mean, um, I've seen stuff on like this on eBay. They don't go for much. Um, the reason this one holds uh, a lot of value to me is purely sentimental. Um, I used to play with it when I was a little nipper, as did my older sister. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please ask. And. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.